Now here we see how we can handle errors that are provided to us by some other function. But of course we can also write our own functions that return errors if something goes wrong. And to show this to you, let's outsource this code here into a custom function, actually including the reader. So let's grab that code here, cut it from main and add a brand new function which I'll name get user age. And in there I'll perform all that reading stuff here. And then ultimately in the end, I want to return the age. So I want to return an integer here and return user age, this variable. And actually here, this is technically of type int 64, uh, which is a bit more specific than just int. So to ensure that everything works, we need to wrap this with the built-in int conversion function, which will behind the scenes make sure that the integer we're parsing here um, is of type int. Now we got that error here and we could also bring down our error handling code. But maybe we wanna keep error handling in the main function for some reason. Well, then we could just return this error variable, which we get here as well, as a second return value, like that. We could of course also create our own error variable and set that to nil if everything is fine and set it to some other value if we wanna create our own error message or whatever. But in its simplest form, we can simply forward this error return value, which we get from parse int. Now we just need to make sure that we adjust this return value of our function, since it now doesn't return just one value, but two values. And hence we return multiple values and we add the types in parentheses. And the second value type is actually error, which is another built in type, another type built into Go that is specifically used for such errors. If you need to create your own error, you can always use the errors package for that. And in there you find a new function where you can enter some error message, for example, invalid input, and that will then give you a value of that error type. So then you could store that in your own variable and return that variable instead. Now you would have your own error. Here I'm just not doing that because I already got such an error here through that error return value from parseInt, but you could easily create your own errors as well if that is what you need to do. And now with that, with that custom function built, which also potentially uh, returns an error, we can call get user age here in main. And then we get back the user age, but also this error here. And hence that's how we should handle the return values of that function then. And we can now still handle our potential error here in the main function.